Hey guys, welcome back to MKC Electronics. Uh, today I have here a gaming monitor from Samsung. It's a Odyssey G5. This model it's a 32 inch 1440p for 144 Hz with HDR certificate. I believe it's HDR 10. HDR 10 and uh, HDR 400, I think. Maybe 600. I'm not sure. I will tell you later. Or put it in comments. <clears throat> But let's so let's open it. All right, <clears throat> cut here and cut that. Oh, rating efficiency G, forty kilowatts per hour, and as any other monitor, it's just not efficient. The monitors are not efficient at all. They just if the battery it gets, the more power it's consumed. Okay, so we did open that. Oh, before I actually go in, let's see what's the exact model number. So exact model number is C32G55TQWR. Okay, so here is uh, explanation how the control stick uh, works how to go through menu and stuff. Uh, some heavy stuff here. So that's your manual, your, I believe it's a ZMI power brick. Let's put that aside. This is part of the stand. This is installation guide, some energy rating. Here is the gigantic stand where it comes with. It's very light. It's plastic, twisty plastic. But it's sturdy, feel, feel sturdy, but I could twist it a little bit. Okay, and here's the screen itself, which is curved. It's have a curve 1000R, I believe. Yeah, it is 1000R. Come on. And now uh, you can see our ports. So we have a 3.5 mil jack, we have a HDMI, we have a display port, we have a USB. So that's a HDMI 2.0, display port 1.2, and service USB, which you can do your updates through. Let's put stand on it and have a look how it looks like when standing. Okay, that's the feet. Let's open the feet. So here's like a screw, which is just lock or a release. It's not like, yeah, it's have a thread. So you can, you basically just screw this in, in this part. Let's see how that goes together. Okay. And again, it's all made of sturdy plastic, but we'll see how it will hold our monitor. It's 30, 32 inch monitor still. So I will probably go and get a screwdriver for this so I can assemble properly. Okay, screwdriver. Let's assemble that together. Does it feel like it's close? It doesn't feel like it's close together. Let's see. Yeah, pretty close together. Let's make sure it's tight enough so it doesn't not bubble unnecessary. Mm, okay. I'll reach the end. This should just slot in. Shoot, I'm not saying it does, but it should. Is it slide in, slide in, slot in. No, slide in. Thank you. 
be very fun to take it out if you need to take it out. Hmm. Let's see if I stand it if it just snaps on. Oh yeah, it just sits on. Okay. So if you have it on the stand. Oh, that's wobbly. Okay. HDMI. The screen itself have like if I turn that around. Have like a cable management hook here. We can put our cables through. Okay, let's get this in. And then we'll look like this. We'll come like that. So the stand. It's wobbly low, so I said that already. It goes oh, badly. It goes like that. It goes like that. That's it. It just and it's very difficult to do. It doesn't swivel. Doesn't turn. It's just angle backwards. Let's connect my console to it so we can see what it can do. I will be plugging in my PS5 and we will try around 1440p, 120Hz and I want to see how it looks like because the previous Dell screen that's 27 inch 1000R curve 165Hz 165Hz so FreeSync, G-Sync compatible VA power so I want to see how this one fares compared to that one. I don't expect anything crazy, but still, it's it's a little bit higher higher end channel than that one. And the Dell did have a insane ghosting on, on certain, well, not certain, most of the games. If you didn't run the 120 hertz, at least, okay. That's probably now. Let's see if it will turn on by itself. Just like uh, from getting signal from PS5. Nope. It's got a blue light there. Under, so have a blue underglow to it. Not sure if you can see that. It's just blue LED on. Look from that. Oh, yeah. Now you can see the light, the backlight bleeding as well. But given this is bigger screen, it actually shouldn't be that much of a problem as on the 27 inch because the, the 27 inch did have. Plus minus this much of bleeding, but on a smaller screen, so it was basically the whole screen was so uh, backlight bleeding badly. <clears throat> okay, so probably they didn't turn it on automatically because uh, default setting was on the uh, display port. So I'm using a mic. <coughs> okay, hello. So current resolution says 4K 60 Hz. Optimal resolution it's 2560 by 1440 to 144. So is this 
screen downscaling 4K. Oh, hello, HDR settings. Okay, how to do that? Adjust your PS5 GI, the mechanical optimize the video quality of your games. Press up and down button such as the button after the symbol is barely visible. Alright, I need to get the internet. Okay, that's done, actually. Let's figure it out. Let's go in menu. I like that. That's look cool. So we have a black equalizer as the first thing here. Let's see that refresh rate. Oh, we can change that here, you know, physically. Okay, let's see 120. Which will do 120 when I'm sending 4K into it. The circle should fill screen without showing a black borders. Yeah, they do. Oh, it brings me back to HDR settings again. So let's go into settings. Let's not torture this. But this looks like it's have a 4K downscale to 1440p. Because otherwise it won't be able to display anything from 4K. Let's see information. Yeah, 4K, 38, 40, 21, 60 by on 60 hertz. Let's change that to 40B. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hundred twenty hundred twenty hertz HDR. All right. So this screen support sixty hertz and hundred twenty hertz in both SDR and HDR, according to my PS Five. Okay, let's see VR. Mm, VR change your resolution to ten eighty p or four K. Okay. 120 hertz output automatic. Okay, let's see here. That menu. What? Okay, now we did change from 100. To, okay, it's on 120. And we can change our response time. Let's turn it on fastest. Give it the best shot. Let's turn on free sync. I hope that it will do anything, but let's try it on. Huh. Okay, again, HDR settings. Okay, let's see if it did stay in the settings. The free sync thing. Yeah, it's on. Virtual endpoint. Oh, okay. Here we have a little cheat stuff here. Yeah, we'll turn it out. Virtual endpoint off. Okay, so that's a game presets. Let's see picture. You can have you have a brightness which is set right now 100, contrast 75, sharpness 60, color. Huh. Okay, so you can change color tone. Cool two, cool one, normal one, 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 two. And then you can do manually adjusting colors. Black level, normal or low, eye saver, okay, on screen display, so that this thing can change how long it will stay there, system, volume, dynamic brightness, off timer plus PCAV mode, oh, okay, 
consider DisplayPort port or HDMI display port version 1.1 or 1.2 auto source switch let's put that on key repeat time acceleration I configure the first button switch or the button when the press oh okay so this just uh, configure how quick the response is to your inputs from this nipple button thing Support software software update, which we will do probably. Information and the information. Huh. Information to the, the, the software HDMI 1080p right now, 60 hertz. Why would you, why would you, that would be a thing? Mm. I don't want to set right now, so I'm going to check the refresh rate. Oh, okay. So because I just turn on the free sync, probably, then uh, now I don't have a high refresh rate and now it's not 1440p anymore. It's 1080p. So I put it back and we will set Resolution 1440p is there, okay. And let's see this uh, higher refresh rate if we can put it back to 120. Oh, yeah, it is back 120. Fast as off. Uh -uh. 16 by 9, 16 by 10. Let's leave it on auto, okay. Alright, well, so let's do some of the gaming. So I have here Gran Turismo. It's a Gran Turismo 7. And uh, what I will try to display uh, how how it looks when you pe when you play a racing game somewhere. In my opinion, I think it's look good, uh, particularly on uh, Gran Turismo 7. It's look it's look good. It's not bad. I mean, could be better. Always, it could be better, of course. Yeah. But uh, I bought this screen for two hundred ninety-nine pounds, brand new on Amazon. It was discounted from three seventy, I believe, or three ninety, close to four hundred. So I think it was a good deal. But to be honest with you guys, I'm coming from 4K IPS HDR 28 inch screen uh, to, to this. And uh, this will be not my PS5 screen. It's supposed to be my computer screen, but I don't, I don't know how it will look like on computer. Uh, excuse my terrible driving because I'm not used to do drive on controller. I don't know how to drive on controller to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, whatever else. Okay, yeah, this is supposed to be my new computer screen, but I'm not sure if if it's not able to satisfy me on the uh, on PS5, how it will satisfy me on PC. And another thing, I did try turn on HDR, and the colors did look so washed out. It's just terrible. It's bad. And even now, the colors doesn't look anything much. It's not oversaturated, but it's have a little green tone to it. And uh, the color settings, I did try to play with it, and there is not much what I can do with it. It's. Uh, you have a few presets and then you can do manually the settings and it's just always feels off but yeah so what I'm trying to show now it's the ghost thing and it's in this game it's not not that bad and it's It's, def it's definitely not uh, 
competition screen. Uh, it's not good for competitive gaming, but for normal gaming, like I do one or two hours a day, if I'm lucky, or half an hour a day, on, that's more realistic. Or if even, if even I do game in, a, in that day. So, yeah, casual gaming on computer, I don't, I don't think that should be issue. But uh, definitely for two ninety nine or that uh, three hundred pounds uh, mark, three hundred pounds, uh, you can choose a different screen. Yeah, and quite loads, it's quite loads. So there's quite a big choice in uh, 300 pounds uh, mark. But it's difficult to pick one because uh, when you do record it like I do now, it, the, the camera doesn't do justice how it's looking in person. So for example, now on the camera when I'm watching that, it's look uh, brighter than it actually is. And the color looks different and uh, on the screen it's look sharper than on camera I don't know how it will come out but now right now when I'm looking at my screen it doesn't look as sharp as it in as it's in person so yeah that's that so let's try a different game so this was a uh, Gran Turismo 7 uh, it was for I think 1430p I, no it was running 4k but uh, this screen it's just 1440p so that's mean that this screen takes in 4k resolution which it does and then it doubts get it for its for, for itself to uh, 1440p Because if I go back to Gran Turismo and uh, I will exit the race, obviously, I can show you what Gran Turismo actually says. It will show you it's running 4K. Let's see. So if we go on options, display settings. I just forget where it was here display settings and then you can adjust this okay now we'll paradise frame rate uh, we'll keep this one as it is again in person it doesn't look like this in person it's look detailed and I can see actually sky and everything okay yeah see A resolution 4k I did turn up HDR and I press I so frame rate. Okay, let's close it. So yeah, it does take in 4K and then it's downscaling it to 1440p, the monitor itself. Let's turn on Tony Hawk. I know that one is running 120 hertz on 1440p. Anyway, in my opinion, the best screen for the PlayStation 5 is not higher refresh rate screen because there's just certain games which does uh, support the 120 hertz or not. And uh, I don't think you should be spending money to buy higher refresh rate screen for your PlayStation just now. Or at least not for PS5. Maybe if they ever release PS5 Pro maybe but not for sure not now as i said this is not my 
gaming console screen have a 4K 60 Hz uh, HDR 28 inch. Uh, it's a ASUS stuff series, and it's uh, absolutely mint. And it's IPS panel LDA like this one. Okay, so we are in the game, and I will change just the information of the monitor if we through the earning 120 hertz. 120 FPS only, 120 hertz. Support information, and it is running according to the B120. Yeah, it is. Yep, let's do some turbo gaming. I suck at this game as well, like it was free game. I didn't pay money for it because I'm not good at it. And the ghosting and smearing and uh, whatnot, it's not that bad. It's it's doable. It's just a very fast paced game, so it will be more noticeable than on a, on a Grand Turismo. I think I think it's fine. It's it's quite good looking. Even the GTA 5 what I played on that Dell which was unplayable. It's kind of playable. I wouldn't still play it on it, but it's kind of playable. Let's try to if if I will be able to show it on camera. Where is GTA 5? Here. Let's see how big ghosting is. Yeah, as I said, it's not that bad on the screen. On that uh, Dell, it was atrocious, it was unusable. I still don't like the colors on this one, they look washed out to me. Even after turning off uh, HDR, when I had the HDR on, they have a weird green tone to everything. And I uh, just didn't like it at all. I turn off the HDR and it's still bright as crazy as screen. It's so good brightness. Yeah, that's uh, how to give it up. Yeah, I would say this is usable. And this is kind of usable. Let's see our monitor what's what the resolution it's outputting in this game. Okay, fourteen forty P sixty Hertz. Or oh, at least that at least it's around fourteen forty. Okay. I think yeah, the game looks better when you have a light on. Yeah, it's that screen looks way better when you have a light on for some reason. In conclusion, what I would say, if you want this for a, for your console, don't buy it. It's not a console. It's not a console screen. It's no good for a console. Even the Dell where I was talking harsh about it uh, when used with PS5, it's just no good. When I did connect that to my PC and I ran actual 165Hz and the fastest re response and have the proper settings and uh, uh, pumping into the proper FPS, that screen did look meant, but just the backlight uh, bleeding was so terrible, I couldn't, I just couldn't, it was too much. That was actually visible even in not so dark scenes, so that's why I did return it. I was, I was just no, I was a bad unit. Okay, yep, I think it's fine. It's it's usable, but uh, definitely I wouldn't recommend it for consoles, but just for PC. PC is fine. PC should, PC should be alright.
So, uh, <clears throat> to put this together, this is a Samsung Odyssey G5, it's a 32 inch, uh, 1440p, 144Hz, uh, HDR10, with uh, HDR10 VA panel, FreeSync and G-Sync compatible. The price was uh, at the moment uh, $299 on Amazon, discounted from uh, just sub £400. And overall pretty good screen, still even on that console it did fare better than that uh, Dell, it was, it was its use level. If I didn't know any better I would say it's great, but I know better. I know it, the console can look way better. So for the upscaling I just wanna do something here. Let's see, I mean downscaling, it's downscaling 4K to 1440p. And it's if you go real output resolution, so support the resolution is actually the, the, the 4K one. But I think the monitor will pop up with the message that the best resolution is 1440p. But it does output on 4K, you can have your console into it and it will still output, it will just change the res resolution for itself down to from 4K to 1440p. Yeah, actually, you know what? Now I am already bumped up to 4K. It looks, the picture looks rich, more colors and stuff. Why that would be the case, I don't know. Foreign though, so we need to, to change again the display things and again the green hue that came in the picture. Okay. That's kind of good, it's good I've done. Thank you for watching, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you hopefully in the next video.